Got another scan tool to look at today from ThinkCar. This is the ThinkScan 662. Let's open it up and take a closer look and then we'll get this connected to a vehicle and see how it does. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I've got the ThinkScan 662 from ThinkCar to look at today. Let's go ahead and get right into it and open this up and see what comes included in the box. There's a quick start guide. It's a really nice large display screen there. And then we've got our cable here that you'll be able to connect to your OBD port. And we've also got a USB-A to USB-C charge cable. Let's go ahead and get this powered on and see what kind of charge we have. It does come with this little screen protector. Let's go ahead and take that off. The little sticker didn't uh, help me take that off, but I got it off with uh, just using the corner of my fingernail. But we do have 86% on the battery, which is nice. And it looks like we've got a pretty easy to use menu here. And it is a touch screen. It's a nice big display, by the way. This is a 6.2 inch screen. This does come with free lifetime updates. Zero cost. Once you purchase this, that's it. You're done. You don't have to subscribe to anything or pay for any updates or anything like that. Now, this does have bi-directional controls, which for an entry-level scanner is pretty impressive. Now, this does not require that you register the tool either. You can plug this in and it's ready to go. Now you can also use these controls to navigate all the way over and down and back. And then of course we have a back button so you can exit out of whatever menu you look into. For example, if we're in OBD, and we go into there. Now, of course, it wants us to connect to a vehicle. Now, it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to use. What we'll do is go out and hook this up to a vehicle and see how it does. We'll play around with it a little bit and then we'll come back and wrap this up. All right, well, I've got this hooked up to a 2003 Toyota Highlander and just wanted to go through a couple of things real quick. First, let's try the auto search and see if we can find the VIN or get scanned in here. Now, it's a similar screen to the 689BT from ThinkScan that I also did another review. Now I'm gonna blur this out here, but it did not find the VIN with the auto scan, so I ended up having to enter it manually. All right, so I'll blur this out. This is our VIN number, but it is saying that it is a Highlander 2003, six cylinder. Let's hit okay. Let's go ahead and do a health report first. And this is gonna scan through each one of those control modules. I think it's just gonna do the ECM, TCM, ABS, and SRS. All right. Now we do have some fault codes here and we do have a check engine light illuminated on this vehicle. So we've got some EVAP DTCs, incorrect purge flow, P0441, P0442, system leak detected, small leak, P0446, EVAP system vent control circuit. So we've got quite a few, some current, some pending. These all have to do with the EVAP system. Now we don't have any in the ABS or the SRS, so just all of these EVAP codes. All right, well, let's go out of the scan results here and take a look at our system selection. So we can select all systems. So here we have all of the systems available, the OBD, ECM and ECT, ABS and SRS. So let's take a look at the OBD, which is gonna be our onboard diagnostics. Let's take a look and see what kind of report we have there. I'm sure it's gonna show that the check engine light is on, but it's also gonna let us know our inspection and monitor readiness. So here we go, yep, it's showing the check engine light is on or malfunction indicator lamp. Uh, DTCs in this ECU, three. Readiness completed, seven. Readiness not completed, zero. Readiness not supported, four. And 24 data stream supported. Let's see if it gives us any information if we enter in here on the DTCs. Take a look at the inspection and monitor readiness. Now we have a misfire monitor fuel system monitor, catalyst monitor. Some of these are not supported. We can take a look at our freeze frame data. So lots of information in here and you can see the engine coolant temperature was at 179. So it was pretty warmed up and the engine RPMs were at 735. So just at idle and page two, the vehicle speed, it was not moving and the intake air temperature was 95. So it was a pretty hot day when that happened. Let's go back here. So we're gonna end the diagnostic session here and take a look at maintenance. So here we have ABS bleeding. I don't think that that's supported, so I'm not gonna try it on this vehicle, but uh, there is a way to look that up. You can take a look at the coverage list, but it looks like you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to do that. But I could be wrong, so if you want to get connected to the Wi-Fi, take a look at that coverage list, and then you can see about bleeding your ABS. Here we have the airbag reset, battery matching, brake pad reset, DPF regeneration, electronic throttle adaptation, 
gearbox learning, anti-theft key matching, injector coating, oil reset, steering angle reset, and TPMS reset. Now back into the diagnose here, I just wanted to pull up these codes again, just do a quick little screenshot or I'm gonna to try to figure out how to save this. Oh, here we go, so I can hit report. So we're gonna call this a pre-scan and uh, let's just hit okay. Shop name, you can enter in your information here, phone number, email and everything. I'm just gonna hit okay for right now. And it says share, so I believe that you can share this report via Bluetooth or email. That's pretty neat. Uh, we can even print this. I think I can hook that up to a Wi-Fi printer and print that out for the customer. That's pretty neat that it has that capability. All right, now that we've saved that report, I'm gonna go ahead and clear these DTCs and get this check engine light turned off. All right, so now that we've cleared that, it's rescanned it and found no fault codes. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle. Now we probably have a, a small evap leak or maybe a purge valve or something is stuck or not working, but we'll we'll have to look at that in another video. But just wanted to do a quick little introduction to this tool and it seems like everything's working just fine. Now I didn't have success with the auto search function, so we ended up having to enter that manually. But once we got in there, everything was pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. All right, now I decided to try this on another vehicle as well and see if we can get that auto VIN to work. So we're gonna do the auto search function again. This is a 20 2016 Ford Transit. Yep, here we go. So this did find the Ford Transit easily. So it's gonna go right into that diagnostic menus and, and we can take a look at a few other things here. But just wanted to verify that that function did work and it seems like it's working fine. So here it is, we can do the same thing, the health report here on the Ford Transit. And uh, here it says three systems found, zero DTCs. So I'm gonna exit out of this, but it's basically the same thing. It works the same way. Let's go ahead and exit there. Well, and the diagnostic session, but just wanted to show you that the auto search function does work. In this situation, it did work on a 2016 Ford Transit. But uh, that's pretty much it. Let's head back into the garage and wrap this up. I know that's just a really brief introduction to this tool, the ThinkScan 662. And you can see that it is a very powerful tool, even for being somewhat entry level. Now, I know I didn't get into any of the bi-directional controls or anything like that, but that is pretty impressive that this inexpensive entry-level scan tool does have the ability to do some bi-directional controls. I do like the fact that it is lifetime free updates and you don't have to sign up for a subscription or anything like that. And I also like the fact that you don't have to register it. I mean, I don't like to have to create passwords or download apps for tools. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. And of course, I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up your very own ThinkScan662 as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck. Mm -hmm.